Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve this inequality right here. So what we want to do is get rid of the denominators. So we need to multiply by both denominators on both sides. So 1 plus x over 1 minus x times 1 minus x and this denominator here 2 plus x and this is greater than 2 minus x over 2 plus x times 1 minus x times 2 plus x. However, we need to be careful because these variables, x, they could be any number. They could be positive or negative. But what happens when we multiply an inequality by a negative number? The sign changes. So we need to ensure that what we're multiplying here is always positive. So the way we do that is we square these brackets here. So now these brackets are always going to be positive and we don't need to worry about the sign. So these are going to cancel out and this one right here. So this is going to, is going to look like 1 plus x times 1 minus x times 2 plus x squared and this is greater than 2 minus x times 1 minus x squared times 2 plus x. So now we're going to subtract one from the other. So I'll subtract this one from both sides. So we get 1 plus x times 1 minus x times 2 plus x all squared minus 2 minus x times 2 plus x times 1 minus x all squared. Just switch these two around. And this is greater than 0 now. So now we want to factor out some common brackets. So what's, what do these terms share? So we've got 1 minus x on both of them and 2 plus x. So let's take those out. 1 minus x and 2 plus x. And I'll do a big square brackets. So we're left with 1 plus x and 1 lot of 2 plus x. Then minus, so we took out the 2 plus x and we took out 1 lot of 1 minus x. So we're left with 2 minus x times 1 minus x. And this is greater than 0. So let's expand these brackets here. So we get x squared plus 3x plus 2 minus x squared minus 3x plus 2. This is greater than 0. So when we subtract these two brackets right here, some of these terms are going to cancel out. So x squared cancels out and 2 cancels out. So what are we left with? We're left with 1 minus x brackets times 2 plus x times 3 plus x, 3x time, uh, plus 3x, so it's 6x, and this is greater than 0. So now we can divide both sides by 6, that won't change anything. So we're left with x times 1 minus x times 2 plus x. This is greater than 0. So this is a cubic, and we can sketch this to find out where on the graph is greater than the x-axis. So I'm just going to find the critical values where it's going to cross the x-axis. So critical values. So when is this uh, inequality equal to 0? So it's when x equals 0 is 1. And then when this bracket is equal to 0 is when x equals 1. And finally, this bracket equals 0 when x equals minus 2. So now we can sketch this. So this is going to be cubic, and it's got a negative coefficient of x cubed. So that means it's going to start in the top left um, quadrant and end in the bottom right quadrant. And the roots are at minus 2, 0, and 1. So the shape of this graph is going to look like this. So this is minus 2, this is 0, the origin, and this is 1. So the question is, when is this greater than 0? So it's going to be this part of the graph and this part of the graph right here. So you can see that x, um, the solution of this inequality is when x is less than minus 2 or when x is less than 1 or greater than 0. So there you go, a solution to this inequality.